So today is my daughter's birthday sleepover. She turned 12, she wanted a sleepover. So I wanted to do something a little special for her birthday. So I decided to create the whole tent and air mattress setup in my living room. She just left for school. So I basically have, I don't know, maybe seven hours to put this together. I bought all the items. I'm gonna show you how you could DIY this and put it together yourself. So the first thing I did was clear out my entire living room. I thought I was gonna be able to keep the couch in here, but no, I had to really take everything out. We just moved it to the other room. Then I picked up these air mattresses. Now, the cheapest I could find these air mattresses in the twin size were at Walmart, and I believe they were around $13, $14. On Amazon, the cheapest I could find was $19. So I got five of those, I set those up. Next, I think what I'm gonna do is put on the sheets and the bed before I do the tents because I feel like that'll be a little bit easier. The sheets that I bought are from Amazon. They were really inexpensive. I got fitted sheet, flat sheet, and one pillowcase. They were around $12. My pillow inserts, I got the firm ones from Walmart. They were around $6 a pillow. So the star of the show is definitely these DIY tents that we put together. I knew we could create these and they were pretty easy to do. So you're going to need six two by two boards per tent. We made five tents, so we ended up getting 30 boards. Now, what we did was we made each of our boards on the front and the back seven feet long. Those boards on the top and the bottom were the length of my, our curtains. And we wanted them to be about half of our beds so that the girls had room to move around. So what we did, was we took two seven inch boards and we connected them up top here with a bolt. We just got a basic bolt at Lowe's. Then we screwed in boards along the bottom for support. Once we had that in place, we added curtains to this top board. So to make the side panels of my tent, what I'm gonna do is I have a one by one board that's going to sit on the top of my tent. Now to make it easy with the fabric, I bought two curtain panels off of Amazon. When you're buying these curtains, you want to make sure that you get the kind that have the loop tops and this actually came in a pack of two they're sheer but they have a little bit of fun detail and i also made sure that when i made my tent i made my boards the length of my curtains so that i could just put a little bit of tape on the edges to put these on here what you're going to do is you kind of need to use both curtains now, if your curtains are just sheer it's not going to matter but i have this little loop area so i'm going to make sure that's on the outside of one side and I'm going to put on one of my loops. So now I'm gonna take this curtain and have this one with the little pom-poms facing this way, and I'm gonna put one of the loops on. Now I'm gonna go back to my curtain on this side, put on a loop, curtain on this side, put on a loop, and I'll just continue all the way down. Now that they're on a little bit, I'm gonna scoot them down so I have room to put on more. And this is going to create those two panels. This is gonna be a lot easier than using a sheet or a piece of fabric because it's already ready to go. It's already got the loops. And I felt like these were fairly inexpensive. You guys, all of the materials we're using, I will link down in the description box if you're wondering where I got anything. The other thing is you're going to be using inexpensive wood for these tents just to keep it affordable. Make sure that you sand this before you put your curtains on. They're gonna glide on so much nicer and you know, you're not gonna have any snagging with your fabric. So now that I have all the curtains on, I'm just going to move them to the middle and then you can just place it on top of your tent. Then all I'm gonna do is just set this on here up top. And then my next step, we are going to put maybe a screw right here in order to make sure they're secure. And then the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take the curtains and use some Velcro adhesive to kind of hold them in place. And then I'm gonna tuck them at the bottom. So I'm gonna pull the curtains tight with this duct brand tape. And then I have a little bit on each side, so I'll pull that here and just hold it in place. This is just going to make the curtains look nicer. You can always try to pull them out up top if you need to. And then I put some tape down here. And then all I'm gonna do at the bottom is just tuck the curtain underneath. 
So my theme for the sleepover is definitely gonna be kind of like pastel colors. I wanted it to just kind of have a bunch of different colors. So I went to Five Below looking for inexpensive throws and pillows. For each of my beds, I got a throw blanket. These were $5 each. And then I got two throw pillows that match. And then Five Below also sells Squishmallows. So I found a coordinating one. So I'm going to put these on the end of the bed to make it look nice. I almost forgot about the fairy lights that I picked up. Now I got these in a box off of Amazon. They're plugged over into my wall over here. And then I'm just going to probably tape that one. And then I'm just thinking I'm just gonna string these up over the top. If I need to add some tape, I will, but I'm not gonna really make them too perfect. Okay. And then when I get to the bottom here, I'm just gonna wrap it underneath the bottom of my board. So I picked up two different rugs for the space. This one is a faux kind of like ivory one. Uh, from, this one's from Walmart. And then this one I ordered off of Amazon. It's kind of like this fuzzy pink rug. So I'm gonna lay these down this center section. So the next thing I'm gonna put out are these white trays in front of each of the beds. I looked everywhere for these. The cheapest I could find them was actually at Ikea. So I bought five of them. I believe they were around 16 or $17, but they'll be great trays that we can use down the road. But they're just little like TV trays. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually put out lanterns. These I found at Dollar Tree for $5. These were $5.55 at Five Below. I'm gonna put these on the white trays for the girls. I also have this wood crate that I picked up at Ikea. And then this is something I ordered off of Amazon. So I thought maybe I could write Happy Birthday Annabelle on here. And it's just like a light up sign. And then on each of the girls' trays, I found these for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna write their names on it so they each have their own little spot. So this lantern from Five Below actually takes batteries. So I'm gonna put three AA batteries inside. Then I'm just going to place this piece to hold it up. And you can turn it on and off. So these dream catchers, I bought them in a pack of five off of Amazon. And then I just used some tie dye that I had at the office. And with the tie dye, I put it into a bucket and just put the tie dye on either side and let that completely soak in. And then what I did was immediately rinse it off. Once I rinsed it off, I just let them sit out and completely dry. And I put one on top of each of my little tents. And I just think they look so cute. Next, I'm gonna put together gift bags for each of the girls. I just bought these white gift bags. These are from Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack. And then what I'm gonna put inside, I found this set of little eye masks. These were, I think I got, let's see. I think they came with six for $10 on Amazon. I found these at Dollar Tree, these jade facial rollers. Candy from Dollar Tree. And then from Walmart, I got little files. And then I got just some cute, inexpensive fingernail polish. So I'm gonna put those together with the girls' names on the front. So 
So I bought a $13 pastel balloon garland off of Amazon. It came with some large balloons. I think there's some different sizes. So right now I'm blowing them up. This is my balloon blower, Moosey. <laughs> He thinks it's a toy. Oh my god. He thinks gosh. it's a ball, but he's gonna try to get it. <laughs> So now that I have all the balloons blown up, I didn't blow them all up, we'll see. I have quite a few left. If I need more, I'll blow up more. I'm gonna place all the balloons on this clear piece of plastic. What you do is at the knot, you're just going to stick them in there and then pull them over to the side. And you want to change up the direction. So like the next one that I put in, I'll put in from this side. It's just going to make them be in a nice cluster. I will say with this balloon garland, there was three different sizes. So I have a few large balloons, but not that many. I'll probably use the majority of these middle size balloons and then try to put in a few larger ones. So I got the balloon garland finished and I decided to put it down here on the fireplace. Originally I thought I might try to put it on the top of the tents, but honestly I didn't really like the look of it. So I just laid it down here in front of my fireplace and put some balloons around. So I wanna show you the final look. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.